Boy, punching a lot of boulders can be tiring. I think it's time to blow off some more steam by playing some Doom. Oh yeah, firing it up and... Hey, wait. Hey, hold up, boulder. That's not Doom Eternal. That's Doom 2016. It's not 2016. It's current year, 2020. What are you doing? Well, my friends, I recently picked up Doom 2016 on the Steam Winter Sale. I'm totally glad I picked it up and totally would have paid $60 for it, but it was nice to wait, let the hype die down, and see the game for myself. And that's more taking the patient gamer mentality. And that's what I want to go over in today's video. To quote Axl Rose, all you need is just a little patient. I like this song, but you know the whole copyright thing, especially with them. So why the patient gamer mindset mentality? Well, I'm sure over the years, if you're like me, you've picked up a number of games on Steam sales or Humble Bundles or GOG sales and you name it. Even if you're, if you're playing on a console, Sony, Microsoft, same thing. And you might be sitting with so many games. You know, a wise man once said, more money, more problems. I think in this case, it's more, more games, more problems. You can't decide on what to play. So you start going through your Steam backlog, and how many games have you gone over the years that you've never touched? That's a whole different problem in and of itself. This can be a bit of a struggle if you're a patient gamer, but the thing is, you wait for these things to go on sale. You're not buying every new major AAA release on release. You're giving it time to breathe. You're giving it time to go down in price. And that's one of the big things is when it comes all about the money. It's all about the money. You're going to be saving yourself a lot of dough in the long run if you're waiting for these games to go on sale or at a reduced price. Leading to my next point is being a more informed, smart consumer, not one who buys into all hype and trends. We're happy consumers. <laughs> I'm a happy consumer. And you know, <laughs> I'm concerned about what my children consume. <laughs> You can wait and see how the game turns out, because we've all seen, especially in the last decade or so, you end up with things like deceptive marketing or false promises, the perfect example being No Man's Sky. Now the funny thing is, if you're a patient gamer, now that game looks like it's worthwhile, because now they have actually released stuff that they promised at release for a much lower price point. As much as I hate to say it, of course, we have the issue with broken games being released at launch. For example, Fallout New Vegas or Dishonor 2, which I did a video about before. Now, usually most games will get fixed up, they'll get modded, DLCs will be released, fans may fix the games for the developers, Bethesda. Some developers will actually be competent and fix it themselves or they should have just had it right at release. But unfortunately, say for a few companies, most major releases are going to be buggy as shit on launch. It's just a fact of life now. It's one of those forces of evil that have prevailed throughout the gaming world. So be a smart consumer. Don't buy into all the hype cycles. Let a game come out, let it breathe, let it come down price, let it get fixed up, let the DLCs come out then make your decision. Especially if you're a PC gamer, the next point's going to be great for you, especially in regards to money. All right, check out this bad boy. 12 megabytes of RAM, 500 megabyte hard drive, built-in spreadsheet capabilities, and a modem that transmits at over 28,000 BPS. Wow, what are you gonna use it for? Games and stuff. <laughs> I mentioned before in my previous videos on Dishonored 2 and Deus Ex Mankind Divided is I use a, a semi toaster laptop that's about five or six years old at this point. So while it can't run everything perfectly, it's more than good enough for what I'm going for as the most recent games I've played usually have been out now for two or three years. I talked about this in my video on the Lindy effect and older games holding up where I've had friends who've spent, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars on building these expensive PCs. Give me one thousand dollars. One thousand more? And then I asked them, oh, so what have you been playing? And then they said, oh, uh, I'm emulating uh, PlayStation 2 games. Well, silly, you don't need a fancy PC to do that. They realized they bought into the hype cycle and that most new games coming out just simply aren't worth it. Instead, go look at that backlog you have that I've built up probably from Steam sales or Humble Bundles and, and GOG sales and see, see what you can touch there. I'm sure you have enough games to choke a horse with there. We've talked about some of the pros when it comes to patient gaming. Now let's talk about some of the cons that go along with it. First of all, this works better for single player games, but when it comes to multiplayer games, it's definitely more of a challenge on that front. Especially with multiplayer games, there's that beginning time when people are trying to understand the meta, all these interesting strategies are coming out, and if you start playing it maybe months or years later, you got a lot of catching up to do against other players. 
That said, by then, there's a lot of strategies that you can make use of, the metas involved, so you could take that knowledge with you. It's up to you. Now, another thing, another con is if you are waiting months or maybe even years to play a game, is you're going to be missing out on the discussions involved around those games. Aww, do you feel left out? But, but I want to contribute. I want to contribute. But, okay, and that, that, that's fair enough. But again, depending on the games, we've seen the last few years, a lot of these hype cycles that come up, once they die down, people really realize that, hey, you know what, that game wasn't that great. Bioshock Infinite. Yes, at the time of release, there was a lot of hubbub around Bioshock Infinite, and there were some astute individuals who were able to see through it. And as time has gone on, as the hype has died down, people have realized that as well, and now realize the best Bioshock was Bioshock 2, mostly. Maybe. You might not understand the memes or contribute to the memes or the discussion, but if you give it time to die down, the hype to die down, Undertale, you could see games for what they really are. Undertale. Okay, Undertale was, no, 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 Undertale was a pretty good game, but that last hour is just something else. Now, am I saying that for every release that you want to play, you wait? No, that's not entirely true. If there's a, a developer, maybe like from software, for example, that you really love all their games and want to support, by all means, you could buy it on day one. I had to actually think back to what the last day one release I got was, and that was Hotline Miami 2 back in 2015. Holy, that was five years ago. The last DLC I bought at launch was The Ring City for Dark Souls 3 back in 2017. My god, where have those three years gone? Now, I'm not saying that you have to do this for every single game and wait. If you really like a developer, by all means, get it on day one. I mean, if everyone did this, then developers would go under. But of course we know, not everyone is going to do this. I just want to bring up to consideration that you should consider being a patient gamer. You don't have to do it for every single game that comes out, but try it for some. See how you like it. Go through your Steam backlog or your GOG backlog or your Humble Bundles. See what comes out there and see what you can enjoy. Now a lot of these games might be fixed and have all the DLCs out. You have the Game of the Year editions. Give it a try and see what's like now that all the hype's died down. There's a subreddit specifically devoted to patient gaming. There's a good area to check out if you want to learn more about it. Now if you excuse me, I have some more boulders to collect and smash for my clients. This has been Boulder Punch. I hope you've enjoyed the video. You know the drill. If you like it, smash that like button like I smash boulders. Leave a comment. How, what are your thoughts about patient gaming? Boulder Punch out. I'll see you fine folks around.